In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create a game in Construct 2. So I'm going to do a little mini series going through each individual skill. So we're going to start off first by ensuring you've got Construct 2 and we're going to make a new project. Now we're just going to call it an empty project and press open. Now the first thing you want to do is sort of get to grips with the layout. So you can see here we've got sort of the window but we've got this whole layout so if you're doing like a side scrolling game you'll obviously have your full sort of screen across here but you'll only your viewpoint will just be this part here and the camera move along for my example I'm just going to do one big full screen game so I'm just go to window size first and make it as large as I want so let's go um, see how big that is it's a little bit too big there so let's maybe try 1500 just want to get the full screen just for this and then let's try that'll do for now maybe that could be 950 there we go so that's essentially the right thing there so that gets you your screen size then you just want to rename your layout so in uh, Contra 2 each layout is essentially like a level or part of your game so so you don't really want to call it layout one you're just going to call it level one for now now you've got your event sheets here which is where all your code goes all your events that's how the, how the code works in construct 2 so first things first let's get a background on so what we do in construct 2 is we create objects so we can right click insert new object and then I'm going to go for a spray or you can go for keyboard input, gamepad, there's lots of different things. For now, I'm just going to go for a tiled background. Name when set I'm just going to call it level one background. I'm going to click and then I'm going to go ahead and find my background. So I've got some stuff in here. So I've got backgrounds, I've got this background here. And what I can do is place my background. Now if it's too big for whatever reason, you can scale things down. I'm not really too too bothered by this, by this really. This will do for me. Like that. Now really, you should have some sort of like tiled image that um, you sort of continues and keep going, especially if you've got a side scroll, you're gonna have a really, really long uh, layout for your background, but for this just simple background, it's just a picture, it's just um, for a bit of you know, a guide of what to do. Now, so you've got your projects where all your objects go, and you've also got your layers. So, what's a good idea? So, a bunch of layers. So, you've got your background layer, then you might have your uh, the literal layer for the level, so you can lock the background there. And then you might have like a heads up display or controls or something like that. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And then this one can be for the heads up display, which for now can stay nice and locked. So that's where I'm going to put like the score and things like that. So I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on level. That's my project. And now I'm going to insert a character. So I can go right click, new object. I want a sprite. I'm just going to call it player one. I'm going to click I'm going to import a character so let's go back one and I've got some different characters so let's go for boy character and I've got some pictures I've taken off freepick.com so I'll put the link to where I got those from in the description and I'm going to start with just a little little boy boost up there like that now you have the actual um, animation the actual picture then you can see here we've got animation frames and then we've got animations. So this one I'm going to call standing. And then we're going to have another animation called running. Now, ideally, you'd have animations for running, jumping, everything like that. I'm just going to have running. So for running, I'm going to import a second picture. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add lots of frames. So I'll import picture three, picture four. Five, add one more frame, add picture six. 
Now you see, if I sort of flick through, so I've got that running animation, and that'll keep looping. So that's our character sorted, and we can place him wherever we want for now, so I'll stick him there. So that's how we insert sprites. So the next thing you're going to want to do is add some flocks. At the minute, if I um, play my game, once I start adding like controls and things, this guy is just going to fall through the floor. So what we can do there is we can take a little look at what our, website, uh, what our game is going to look like. You can see that's what our game will look like at the moment. So we've got a little guy and we've got a background. So what we can do is add the floor. So we're going to add another object, we're going to call it floor or ground, something like that works. Let's do ground because it's not like floor. And now I'm going to go to floors. I'm going to pick my grassy floor. And you see I get this little tile here. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and place them where I want the floor to be. So and you can copy and paste absolutely fine. So let's make sure they're all fitting together nicely like that. Then Copy and paste them. I might want a little a little jump here, and then I might decide to have another little jump to there. And then we go. That might be my level. So I can just take my guy and pop him there. And that's our sort of level setup for now. Obviously, we can add up with additional sprites and anything extra you want to put in later on. So, hopefully, that was nice and easy to understand, and you can add your backgrounds, add your sprites to your game.